Hello, it's Thursday, February the 8th, 2024. I'm Samantha Simmons, coming to you live from the heart of the financial world, the London Stock Exchange. Do join me as we come together to celebrate a milestone anniversary for one of the world's leading pharmaceutical companies, AstraZeneca. This is The Market Open. Hello and welcome. 25 years ago, Sweden's AB and the British Zeneca Group came together to create the pharmaceutical powerhouse that is AstraZeneca. Well, today marks a fantastic and really significant milestone. I'm going to be joined very shortly by AstraZeneca's CEO, Pascal Sorio, and also joining us is London Stock Exchange CEO, Julia Hoggart, to open the market. Well, in the past 25 years, the company has gone from a 60 billion pound business to a company now worth more than 160 billion pounds. You can hear that music there signaling the countdown to the start of the open of the markets. We'll cross there in just a moment. But in the company's own words, they are transforming the future of healthcare by unlocking the power of what science can do. And now AstraZeneca are the largest company on the London Stock Exchange. In just a moment, I will be joined by Pascal and by Julie. But now, though, let's cross over live to the market open. From the beginning, science has been at the front and center of everything we do. Taking us to places we never thought possible. This is the adventure of what science can do. Science can change the way we see the world, change how we live our lives, make us pioneers. Science can impel us to take risks, share and collaborate. Harness data, technology and AI to accelerate change. Bring people together to achieve the impossible. Fast forward the future. Science can create novel therapies and vaccines. Help people with chronic diseases live better, healthier lives. Redefine cancer care. Pioneer treatments for rare diseases. Prevent, modify, and one day, even cure. Make patients partners in their own treatment. Science can inspire us to keep doing incredible things. Give more and more of us access to healthcare. Transform the lives of billions of people and unite us all around the single aim of improving lives and life chances. Science can do all of this ethically and sustainably. Leading the way to a low carbon world. Making healthcare systems more sustainable and resilient. Being bold and ambitious to make people societies and the planet healthier. This is the limitless adventure of what science can do.
This is AstraZeneca. Well, just some examples there of the incredible work that AstraZeneca has done over the past 25 years around the globe. As you can see, Pascal and Julia join me now. Hello, good morning. A great buzz in the room. Uh, Pascal, huge congratulations. A really significant milestone you're marking today in the history of AstraZeneca. And of course, you're now the largest company on the London Stock Exchange as well. What, what does this mean to you? Well, it's been a fantastic journey over the last 25 years. Um, you know, we were a company with a 23 pound share price at the time, and today we are in excess of 100 pounds, and we have almost 46 billion dollars in sales, almost 90,000 employees around the world. So a fantastic journey, uh, and importantly, we've come up with many medicines for patients. You really have. You've been incredible. I will talk more about that in just a moment. Juliet, to you, what does it mean for the London Stock Exchange to be able to celebrate this really significant milestone with AstraZeneca? Well, it's both a pleasure and an honor to be able to do so. But I think the other thing is that we think of ourselves as a convener. Our job is to bring together those who have capital with those who need capital in service of an objective. I can't think of a more important objective than the work that AstraZeneca does and the fundamental science it's doing and the impact it has on people's lives. So this is really what markets are all about and this is our core purpose as well. So we're delighted to be able to celebrate this with AstraZeneca today. Yeah, and Pascal, really the COVID-19 vaccine means that your company's name is familiar now all around the globe to all of us and it's played such a significant part in all our lives, hasn't it? Absolutely, but we also would like to be well known for our contribution to the treatment of cancer, cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease and importantly rare diseases as well. Yeah, and of course, the history of AstraZeneca dates back over 100 years in total, does it? Truly a global story. Is this global collaboration key to the success of the company, do you think? Absolutely. Collaboration is at the heart of our uh, company culture. It's part of our DNA, really. Collaboration with science, academic science, collaboration with companies. And we have more than 1,000 collaborations uh, around the world today. Wow. So it started with this great collaboration between two companies, Astra from Sweden and Zeneca from the UK. Yeah, and reflecting on 25 years of AstraZeneca's journey, what key milestones and achievements really stand out for you? Well, there's quite a number of milestones across the last uh, 25 years in particular. Um, you know, the contribution to cancer, AstraZeneca was really uh, one of the first companies making uh, innovation into breast cancer, lung cancer 25, 25 years ago or so. Um, I think also our investment in uh, Cambridge in the UK, our new R&D site, is really an important milestone for the future. Our presence in China and our growing investment um, in China has been an important milestone that is positioning us very well for the future. Uh, just looking back a bit more, how have some of the early innovations and really impacted on the lasting legacy you hope that this company will be able to provide for the future health landscape? Well, actually AstraZeneca was one of uh, the companies that, inv that uh, in innovated the first in, uh, in the treatment of breast cancer. Also in uh, so-called GFR uh, mutated lung cancer, which is a subtype of lung cancer, which is very frequent in Asia, less frequent in, uh, in Europe, but still an important part of uh, lung cancer. Uh, AstraZeneca came up with one of the first medicines and uh, AstraZeneca also contributed to uh, um, cardiovascular disease with Crestor or statin for cholesterol, hypertension, uh, in respiratory, uh, asthma, COPD. And we've built on this legacy over the last 20 years uh, to develop the portfolio we have today. Okay, Julia, what for you makes the connection between the London Stock Exchange and AstraZeneca particularly significant? Well, I think it's, it's both its longevity and its purpose. So if you think of Zeneca coming out of ICI, uh, being listed first on the London Stock Exchange in 1993, uh, through to the merger, which we're celebrating 25 years of, now, you look at these flashes on the screens here, and they may look like sort of just numbers on a screen, but fundamentally every single one of them reflects a company doing critical work in, uh, impacting our economy, employing people, and in the case of AstraZeneca, spending a huge amount of money, 20% plus in R&D every year, uh, in order yeah. to make future breakthroughs. That's what our market does, and therefore being able to illustrate that with AstraZeneca today is, is a delight. Okay, and before we let you go, Pascal, tell us what do you see as the key opportunities and challenges looking forward? Well, it's to innovate, to continue innovating, and the there is an explosion of science in the last uh, 10, 15 years, and it's accelerating. We are investing in many different technologies. Cell therapy, which we believe will make an important uh, contribution to the treatment of cancer, but also immune diseases. 
Um, you know, we also want to contribute to cardio cardiovascular disease. Uh, we have a whole range of uh, products there for organ protection. We're also investing in obesity treatment. Um, so, you know, the future is really bright because science is making enormous progress and we contribute to this uh, advancement of medicine. And we really look forward to hearing more about your future successes. Uh, Pascal, Julia, thank you so much for your time and congratulations you. once again. Well, thanks to you also for being with us this morning. Uh, that is it for us for the moment. I do hope you can join us again same time tomorrow for another live market open. Bye for now.